Uh, we back with B, transfer of immovable property. 38, transfer by person authorized only under certain circumstances to transfer. Where any person authorized under or authorized only under circumstances in their nature variable to dispose of immovable property transfer such property for consideration alleging the existence of such circumstances they shall as between the transfer e on the one part and the transfer er and other persons if any affected by the transfer on the other part be deemed to have existed if the transfer e after using reasonable care to ascertain the existence of such circumstances has acted in good faith illustration a a hindu widow whose husband has left collateral heirs alleging that the property held by her as such is inefficient for her maintenance agrees for purposes neither religious nor charitable to sell a field part of such property to be be satisfies himself by reasonable inquiry that the income of the property is insufficient for A's maintenance and that the sale of the field is necessary and acting in good faith buys the field from A as between A on the one part and A and the collateral heirs on the other part a necessary necessity for the sale shall be deemed to have existed 39 transfer where third person is entitled to maintenance where a third person has a right to receive maintenance or a provision for advancement or marriage from the profits of immovable property and such property is transferred, the right may be enforced against the transfer E if he has notice thereof or if the transfer is gratuitous, but not against the transfer E for consideration and without notice of the right, nor against such property in his hand. 40 burden of obligation imposing restriction on use of land where for the more beneficial enjoyment of his own immovable property a third person has independently of any interest in the immovable property of another or of any easement thereon a right to restrain the enjoyment in a particular manner of the latter property or or of obligation and X to ownership, but not amounting to interest or e easement. Where a third person is entitled to the benefit of an obligation arising out of contract and annex to the ownership of immovable property, but not amounting to an interest therein or easement thereon, such right or obligation may be enforced against a transfer E with notice thereof or a grat gratuitous transferee of the property affected thereby, but not against a transfer E for consideration and without notice of the right or obligation nor against such property in his hand illustration a contracts to sell sultan pure to b while the contract is still in force he sells sultan pure to b to c who has notice of the contract b may enforce the contract against c to the same extent as against a
uh, 41. Transfer by uh, ostensible owner. Where, with the consent expressed or implied of the persons interested in immovable property, a person is the ostensible owner of such property and transfers the same for consideration. The transfer shall not be voidable on the ground that the transferor was not authorized to make it. Provided that the transferor, after taking reasonable care to ascertain that the transferor had power to make the transfer, has acted in good faith. 42. Transfer by person having authority to revoke former transfer. Where? A person transfers any immovable property reserving power to revoke the transfer to subsequently and subsequently transfers the property for consideration to another transfer e such transfer operates in favor of such transfer e subject to any condition attached to the exercise of the power as a Revocation of the former transfer to the extent of the power. Illustration. A lets a house to B and reserves power to revoke the lease if, in the opinion of a specified survivor, uh, surveyor, surveyor right a specified surveyor b should make the use of the detrimental to its value afterwards a thinking that such a use has been made let the house to see this operation as a revocation of b's lease Subject to the opinion of the the surveyors, the surveyor as to B's use of the house having been detrimental to his value. A lets a house to B and reserves power to revoke the lease if, in the opinion of a specified surveyor, B should make a use of its detrimental to its value afterwards a thinking that such a use has been made lest the house to see this operates as a revocation of b's lease subject to the opinion of the surveyor as to b's use of the house having been detrimental to its value 43 Mm, transfer by unauthorized person who subsequently acquires interest in property transfer where a person fraudulently or erroneously represents that he is authorized to transfer certain immovable property and professes to transfer such property for consideration such transfer shall at the option of the transfer e operate on any interest which the transfer er may acquire in such property at any time during which the contract of transfer subsists uh nothing in this section shall impair the right of transfer ease in good faith for consideration without notice of the existence of the said option uh, illustration A. A Hindu who has separ separated from his father B sells to C three fields X, Y, and Z representing that A is authorized to transfer the same of these fields Z does not belong to A 
it having been retained by B on a on a proportion, but on B's dying A, as air obtains C, uh, obtains Z C not having rescinded the contract of sale may require A to deliver Z to him. Ah, the rescission of contract. -y. Uh, 44 transferred by one co-owner back to rescission hmm transferred by one co-owner where one of two or more co-owners co of immovable property legally competent in that behalf transfers his share of such property or any interest therein the transfer he acquires as to such share or interest and so far as is necessary to give effect to the transfer the transfer earns right to join possession or other common or part enjoyment of the property and to enforce a proportionate of the same, but subject to the, the conditions and liabilities affecting at the date of the transfer, the share or interest so transferred, where the transfer E of a share of a dwelling house, dwelling house belonging to an undivided family is not a member of the family, Nothing in this section shall be deemed to entitle him to joint possession or other common or part enjoyment of the house. Uh, 45. Joint transfer for consideration where immovable property is transferred for consideration to two or more persons and such consideration is paid out of the fund belonging to them in common they are in the absence of the contract to the contrary representative uh, respectively entitled to interest in such property identical as nearly as may be with the interests in or with the interests to which they were respectively entitled in the fund and where such condition, consideration is paid out of separate funds belonging to them respectively, they are, in the absence of a contract to the contrary, respectively entitled to interests in such property in proportion to the shares of the consideration which they respectively advance. In the absence of evidence as to the interests in the funds to which they were respectively entitled or as to the shares which they respectively advance, such persons shall be presumed to be equally interested in the property. <coughs> 46. Transfer for consideration by persons having distinct interests. Where immovable property is transferred for consideration by persons having distinct interests therein, the transfer errs are, in the absence of a contract to the contrary, entitled to share in the consideration equally where their interests in the property were of equal value and where such interests were of unequal value proportionately to the value of their respective interests. Illustration A. A. Owen. A moiety. And B and C. Each a quarter share of Moisa. Salt and pure exchange an eighth share of the moza for a quarter share of moza laupura, where being no agreement to the contrary, A is entitled to an eighth share in Laporta and B and C each to the sixteenth share in the moza. 
B. A. Being entitled to a life interest in Moza at Trella. I know I'm messing this up. And B. And C. To the reversion. Sells the Moza to R's. 1,000 A's. Life interest is ascertained to be worth R 600. The reversion R 400. A is, in, is entitled to receive R 600 out of the purchase money B and C to receive R 4000. <clears throat> 47 transfer by co owners of share in common uh, property. Where several co-owners of immovable property transfer a share wherein without specifying that the transfer is to take effect on any particular share or shares of the transfers. The transfer as among such transferers take effect on such shares equally where the shares are equal and where they are unequal proportionately to the extent of such shares. Illustration. A. The owner of the A and a share. And B and C. Each the owner of the four and a share. In Moza Sultan Pure. Transfer a two and a share. In the Moza 2D. Without specifying from which. Of their several shares, the transfer is made to give effect to the transfer. One and a share is taken from the share of A and half and an a share from each of the shares of B and C. And I'm going to have to look up what all it is. This is India. 48. Priority of rights created by transfer, where a person purports to create by transfer at different times rights in or over the same immovable property and such rights cannot all exist or be exercised to their full extent together. Each later created right shall, in the absence of a special contract, or reservation binding the earlier transfer ease be subject to the rights uh, previously created. 49. Transfer ease right under policy where immovable property is transferred for consideration and such property or any part thereof is at the date of the transfer insured against loss or damage by fire the transfer e in case of such loss or damage may, in the absence of a contract to the contrary, require any money which the transferer actually receive under the policy or so much thereof as may be necessary to apply in reinstating the property. 50. Rent. Bonafide pay to holder under defective title. No person shall be chargeable with any rent or profits of any immovable property which he has in good faith paid or delivered to any person of whom he is in good faith held such property, notwithstanding it may afterwards appear that the person to whom such payment or delivery was made had no right to receive such rents or profits illustration oh y'all ain't gonna be able to see it a lets a field to b at a rent of r50 and then transfers the field to c B having no notice of the transfer in good faith pays the rent to A. B is not chargeable with the rent so paid. 51. Improvements made by bona fide holders under defective title. 
when the transfer E of immovable property makes any immove, uh, improvement on the property, believing in good faith that he is absolutely entitled thereto, and he is subsequently evicted therefrom by any person having a better title, the transfer E has a right to require the person causing the eviction either to have the value of the improvement estimated and paid or secured to the transfer E or to sell his interest in the property to the transfer E at the then market value thereof, irrespective of the value of such improvement. The amount to be paid or secured in respect of such improvement shall be the estimated value thereof at the time of the eviction. When, under the circumstances there aforesaid, under the circumstances aforesaid, the transfer E has planted and sown on the property crops which is growing when he is evicted therefrom, he is entitled to such crops and to free ingress and egress to gather and carry out. Ingress and egress like to go in and out, to go in and out, a right away and a right out way. <clears throat> right. Uh, 52. Transfer of property pending suit relating thereto during the pendency in any court having authority within the limits of India, including the state of Jammu and Kashmir, or established beyond such limits by the central government of any suit or proceeding which is not conclusive. Uh, collusive, excuse me, which is not collusive and in which any right to immovable property is directly or specifically in question, the property cannot be transferred or otherwise dealt with by any party to the suit or proceeding so as to affect the rights of any other party thereto under any decree or order which may be made therein except under the authority of the court and on such terms as it may impose. Explanation. For the purpose of this section, dependency of a suit or proceeding shall be deemed to commence from the date of the presentation of the plaint and the institution of the proceeding in a court of competent jurisdiction and to continue until the suit or proceeding has been disposed of by a final decree or order or complete satisfaction or discharge of such decree or order has been obtained or has become unattainable unobtainable by reason of the expiration of any period of limitation prescribed for the execution thereof by any law for the time being enforced. 53. Fraudulent Transfer 1. Every transfer of immovable property made with intent to defect, defeat or delay the creditors of the transferor shall be voidable at the option of any creditor so defeated or delayed. Nothing in this subsection shall impair the right of a transfer E in good faith and for consideration. Nothing in this subsection shall affect any law for the time being enforced relating to insolvency. A suit instituted by the creditor which term includes a decree holder whether he has or has not applied for execution of his decree to avoid a transfer on the ground that it has been made 
with intent to defeat or delay the creditors of a tran of the transferer shall be instituted on behalf of or for the benefit of all the creditors. Two, every transfer of immovable property made without consideration with intent to defraud a subsequent transfer E shall be voidable at the option of such transfer E. For the purpose of this subsection, no transfer made without consideration shall be deemed to have been made with intent to defraud by reason only that the subsequent transfer for consideration was made. Uh, 53A, part performance. Part performance. Uh, part performance, excuse me. Part performance. Can you see it? Part performance. Where any person contracts the transfer for consideration any immovable property by writing, signing by him or on his behalf from which the terms necessary to constitute the transfer can be ascertained with reasonable certainty and the transfer e has in part performance of the contract taken possession of the property or any part thereof or the transfer e being already in possession continues in possession in part performance of the contract and has done some act in furtherance of the contract and the transfer e has performed or is willing to perform his part of the contract, then notwithstanding that that or where there is an instrument of transfer that the transfer has not been completed in the manner prescribed therefore by the law for the time being in force, the transferer or any person claiming under him shall be debarred from enforcing against the transfer e of persons claiming under him any per any right in respect of the property of which the transfer e has taken or continued in possession other than a right expressly provided by the terms of the contract provided that nothing in this section shall affect the rights of a transfer E for consideration who has no notice of the contract or of a part performance thereof. And when we come back, we're going to get to chapter three of sales of immovable property. Chapter three of sales of immovable property. Excuse me.